I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of uh, using Prometheus to gather metrics from services in OpenShift and render graphs based on those metrics using Grafana. As you can see, I've got a fresh, a freshly provisioned uh, development environment of OpenShift running on my uh, laptop here. The key things that we're going to be using are the Prometheus APB, which will provision Prometheus and also bundle into that Grafana, which has Prometheus pre-hooked up as a data source. And also we'll be using the Feed Henry Sync server as a service which exposes metrics that will be displaying in Grafana. So the first step here is to provision Prometheus, which we'll do here. I'm just going to skip ahead in the video to this being activated. Okay, so we have that running now. If we take a look at what's running in here, we can see that alongside Prometheus and Grafana, we also have an OAuth proxy sidecar. This is used to control who is able to access the services within this deployment. If we take a look in the deployment config and uh, read the YAML, we'll be able to see the implementation. Uh, and what we're saying here is in order to access the Prometheus service, the user needs to be able to uh, update the Prometheus deployment config in the My Project namespace. So if we come back to the overview and try to access this URL, uh, this has been picked up by the OAuth proxy, which is expecting us to log into an OpenShift account, which has which fulfills that uh, subject access review. So we see the user that I've logged in with satisfies the criteria for that, and so it's given me access to this service. Uh, and now if we take a look in here, we can see that the uh, Prometheus APB has also created some pre-defined um, dashboards. There's a primary dashboard here, which is showing us the response time from all the different handlers in Prometheus, the amount of resident memory and the CPU usage all for Prometheus at the moment. Now if we come back to the OpenShift catalog and provision the sync server, uh, and again I'm just going to skip ahead to when these are all running. Okay, that's all running now and healthy, so uh, the next step now is to just generate some traffic to uh, the sync server using this uh, rather nasty while loop which runs curls against the REST API repeatedly. If we come back here now and take a look at the Grafana dashboard, we can see that there are stats here for Prometheus showing up in both the memory usage and in the CPU usage. Uh, then if we take a look in the FH sync server specific dashboard, we can see that it's also got some data in here now for the pending acknowledged and syncing uh, queue sizes, although they're all zero at the moment, uh, and the worker process time along with the timings of various Mongo uh, operations and the API process time. Uh, now that we have that there, if I come back to this terminal and open up a few extra And run that command a lot. Then we'll start to see some activity on these graphs, reflecting the extra load that the sync server is now under. And if we take a look at the uh, primary dashboard, we see the CPU usage and resident memory for the sync server also reacting to that extra load. And then if I kill these off, I will skip ahead now to when the charts reflect the reduced load on the sync server. Okay, so as you can see here, the load on the CPU for the sync server has dropped back down to regular levels after having worked through the queue. And if we take a look at the sync server specific dashboard, we can see there's activity here. 
and here and here and since we've killed the activity that's all settled back now again now so that's the end of the demo thanks for your time if you have any questions i'd love to hear from you